Welcome to this rapid revision session on why did the Mormons succeed? If you've not yet watched my rapid revision session on the Mormon migration, perhaps watch that one before you watch this one, as it provides a lot of valuable context. Otherwise, let's get cracking. Firstly, a reminder about the conditions at Salt Lake Valley. This was a truly inhospitable place, and this is the landscape that the Mormons needed to tame in order to found their civilization at Salt Lake Valley, and ultimately Salt Lake City. This artist's impression shows the first Mormon migrants arriving. We can see women and children in amongst them. Luckily for them, an advanced party had laid supplies along the route, being that they didn't encounter the harsh realities of uh, getting stranded like the Donner Party did. But still, when they got there, they were confronted with an intimidating wilderness. Source D is a description of Salt Lake Valley written by one of the first settlers. A broad and barren plain, hemmed in by mountains, blistering in the burning rays of the midsummer sun. No waving fields, no swaying forests, no green meadows, but on all sides a seemingly endless waste of sagebrush. The paradise of the lizard, the cricket and the rattlesnake. I think that source backs up what we can see in the other painting quite well. So how did the Mormons organise and overcome this? At least some of the credit has to go to this man, Brigham Young. Not only had he succeeded in guiding the Mormons to Salt Lake Valley, he was now in charge of making sure that they thrived once they had got there. So why did the Mormons succeed at Salt Lake Valley? Firstly, there's Brigham Young's leadership. The Mormons believed that Young was God's prophet, and therefore they followed his lead. He decreed that the church owned all the land, which simplified settlement and organisation when establishing Salt Lake Valley, uh, City. Young gave clear orders of who did what to ensure the problems were prioritised and solved. Young organised wider settlements, ensuring that each had the right set of skills, making sure that if they needed blacksmiths, they were there, carpenters, millers, etc. Also, we've got to look at their organisation, which itself is linked to Brigham Young's in, uh, leadership. Young enforced strict organisation. The Mormon pioneers in the advance party in 1847 had the skills to establish a safe route and make a head start in preparing the Salt Lake Valley for, for settlement. People worked together for the good of the Mormon community. And also, the settlement spread out, each one specialising in a different product that the Mormons needed. Perhaps, perhaps they uh, were growing food crops, or they were quarrying rocks to build with, or minerals, or indeed producing timber. Lastly, they had to overcome the landscape, and they did this successfully. Young organised schemes to bring fresh water to the Salt Lake Valley. Irrigation channels from freshwater streams in the mountains were, uh, were dug to provide freshwater channels to the people. This allowed soil to be improved, crops grown, and drinking water to be brought to the people. The lack of trees was overcome by planting, but in the short term, the dispersed settlements provided the timber and rocks needed for building. So overall, Brigham Young's organisation, his leadership, people's belief in the Church of Latter-day Saints and it as a community, and also overcoming the landscape, meant that the Mormons didn't just survive in Salt Lake Valley, they thrived. Some final points then. There were significant challenges establishing a thriving settlement in Salt Lake Valley. Young's strict leadership was crucial in organising these settlers so that they would succeed. They overcame the challenges of the landscape with supporting settlements and irrigation. Salt Lake City was established, grew and thrived. What's the proof? Well, it still does today. And on that note, that's the end of this rather short rapid revision session. I hope it's been useful to you. And like I say, if you didn't see the, the video on the Mormon migration before, it perhaps would be a good idea to look back and, and see that as well. It also helps to explain why the Mormons were going to such an inhospitable place in the first place. Other than that, I'll say thanks very much for watching. If it's been useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you've got a topic that you're desperate for me to do a rapid revision session on, please place it in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.